You know, if you're like me, you learn how to play CCR's Proud Mary like this. Hi everybody, I'm Doug Kilishek and welcome to 12 Foot Chain. We're gonna learn some great songs from CCR today and I'm gonna teach you how to play them so it sounds just like the record or a lot more like the record. We're gonna learn three great songs. Proud Mary, Bad Moon Rising, and Fortunate Son. All of them have a little secret, and I'm gonna tell you what that secret is. And I'm also gonna let you in on another secret. What is this 12-foot chain mean anyway? We're gonna talk about that too. Thanks for watching my channel, I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, click the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell, and you'll be notified when all of my new content comes online. I'm gonna be releasing tutorial videos just like this at least once a week. I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what songs you wanna hear. All right, let's do this. Okay, so the first trick on Proud Mary, it's the tuning. He, John Fogarty tuned his guitar down a whole step. So yeah, the song is in D, but he's playing that on his Les Paul from an E position. So you're gonna tune your strings down a whole step, every string, so it's gonna be D, G, C, F, A, and D. So he's not in standard tuning. His brother, Tom Fogarty, is playing in standard tuning um, as the second guitar on there, and the combination of both of those gets you all those strings and all those tones, but the main one that your ear is picking up on and why you're listening to yourself play it and you're listening to the record and you're saying, why doesn't it sound quite right? It's the John Fogarty guitar that's missing. So, so that's the first thing, tune your guitar down. So then you're playing from a different position. So instead, of that intro where you're used to playing it C to A position. Um, you're still playing a C chord technically, but you're playing it from the D position. You need to switch all of those. So now it's like this. Doesn't that sound different? Let's try that again. Sounds great. That's the trick. So you're gonna tune that down and you're gonna re relearn those chords from the tuned down position, but it makes all the difference in the world. And there's little licks that happen throughout the whole song that sort of give you the clue, right? So there's the, the rolling on the river riff, you know? That's an E riff, if you listen to it. It's, those, it's the G and the E string, or the first and the third string. You know, if you were doing it while you were playing in the other position, you're, you're having to do that up here. I'm gonna change positions, but you would be doing this. But you don't get that open string pop. So that's, that's one of your clues. So those intro chords, I'll just call them out with the normal hand position that you're used to. D. a very consistent strum pattern that you see in a or you hear in a lot of CCR songs. So let's go through that verse change. sort of pick
taking those two notes together, two strings at the same time, starting on that fourth fret. time for the solo and what a great solo. So you're playing it in the E position. Kind of that Keith Richards thing. So you're doing that off of the seventh position. Uh, Was that the third inversion E chord? So you're up here on seven, eight, nine. And the hammer on. I'll just run through it. Okay, so that was. You're just going from one over inversion of E to the next, is how my ear hears it. So you're hearing that. Catching those harmonies. So Tom Fogarty's just holding down the rhythm. John Fogarty's just playing the single note. basically it. The tuning is the thing and relearning those chords. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next song is Bad Moon Rising. We all learned that in D. Same thing. We played it and it sounded all right. Sounds great in that position, but something not quite right. But they played in the same tuned down tuning. So they're playing it in the sort of E position, or at least John Fogarty is. Again, they've got the combination of him playing in that tuned down tuning, Tom Fogarty playing, the rhythm guitar on the standard tuning and those are combining for part of that big great sound that they have so that opening riff you're playing that in e now you're not playing it in d and that riff right there that's the giveaway that it's an e position riff you can't do that when you're playing in d and have it sound like that so that's it. So you're just shifting from our normal D position to B. So now it's all, you're just inverting the chords. It's basically an E, A, B position song. Move to the chorus. So let's give that solo a try now. So now we're in the E position, right? So you can let that open E string ring a little bit. position chord. Right. Throwing in the sixth. There it is. All right, let's move to the last one now. Fortunate Son. Another great song. And yeah, he's playing it down in the in the tuning that we've moved down to as well. So we all learned this song in G. 
But again, he's playing this in that tuning. So he's playing everything from an A position. And a lot of the riffs that come out during that song make it apparent that he's doing that. There's some clues that happen. So instead of pedaling on a G, yeah, it's a G note, but it's an A position. The bass is doing that, right? But here's the opening riff. ringing out when you're playing it in, in G you can't get those same strings to ring out because you're fingering them in different positions so it's the part of the A chord at the fifth fret fifth and sixth fret sliding down on the G piece of the D chord and that's the A chord and that's the other clue right there that string rings those little riffs so much easier right right so then the chorus it's going a position e position to d so much easier to get that That's the part of the A seventh. You're just always going to let that E string ring. Slide it down the fret. Down to the G position. Back to the A position again, letting that ring out. That's Fortunate Son. So now you know the secret for those three songs Proud Mary, Bad Moon Rising, Fortunate Son. So what is this 12 foot chain anyway? Well, in many parts of the world where elephants are employed for work, they might be clearing forests, they might be performances, they might be doing tourist rides. Baby elephants need to be trained by their trainers. They need to be conditioned. And one of the ways that they do that when they're babies, when you're a baby elephant, you're you know, a couple feet tall and you might weigh 200 pounds. You know, eventually you're gonna grow to be six tons or something. Um, but when you're a baby, they can be controlled, they can be restrained by a shackle on their foot connected to a 12-foot chain and a stake driven into the ground. And that's enough to restrain the baby elephant from being able to walk and wander and go off um, because they need to be kept in place during this time. And after time, they learn. They get to the end of the 12-foot chain and they test that. They can't pull the stake out. And after a while, they just understand, when I get to the end of the chain, that's, that's all there is. Well, the elephant keeps growing, um, and they become more powerful, but that 12-foot chain still remains that 12-foot chain. And even though they do actually have the power to pull that stake up and move on, they've been conditioned to the point where they just, they don't try anymore. They don't try to go beyond what that 12-foot chain allows them to do, because they learn very young when you get to the end of the chain, that's it. Well, not unlike that baby elephant, all of us have our own 12 foot chain too. We have our own restrictions that really we've put on ourselves of things that we think that we can't do or can't accomplish, or we have a perimeter that we think we can't go beyond. What's my own 12 foot chain? I always wanted to have a YouTube channel and do guitar tutorials. And so never thought I could do that, but I'm gonna do it. And here he is, this is video number one. So I hope you can join us every week. I'm gonna be putting out content on a weekly basis. Lots of guitar, lots of classic rock, all the stuff that was interesting to me as a guitar player coming up. Again, if you like what you see, please give us a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you next week. Take care.